The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has said it did not need the approval of the Nigerian Communications Commission to transmit election results electronically. This was the, uh, as the National Assembly told the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Mahmoud Yakubu, to seek proper legal advice instead of misinforming Nigerians on the independence of INEC to conduct elections. Well, joining us to discuss this is the Chairman Information and Voter Education Committee for INEC, uh, Festus Okoye, and we also have joining us um, legal practitioner Baba Isa. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to start with Baba Isa because you're the lawyer. I, 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 of course, I'm going to go to Festus Okoye later, but I want to start with you because the National Assembly is saying that Professor Mahmoud Yakubu has to seek legal understanding. I'd like to just quote them directly. They're saying that um, INEX chairman needs to seek proper legal advice instead of misinforming Nigerians on the independence of INEC to conduct elections. But what INEC is talking about here is that they're capable of running these elections and transmitting these election results electronically. So help me as a lawyer to uh, understand what exactly the National Assembly uh, is asking INEC to seek guidance on. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. I, I really wish uh, you actually brought in somebody from National Assembly because I don't understand myself what the National Assembly wants INEC to seek clarification about. The Constitution is clear. INEC has the mandate, INEC has the power to conduct elections without interference from anybody, from any institution. So when I read that report myself, I was wondering, seek clarification for what? That's the question. I don't have the answer. I'm not a member of the National Assembly. But uh, the question is very clear. And I think it's the only body empowered to conduct elections. And even in your name, speaks for itself. They're independent. You understand that? So uh, this... Uh, aspect of trying to influence INA, INA to seek clarification, INA should do this, INA should check with SEC before uh, transmitting results. I don't think it's constitutional. If they want to amend the constitution as a national assembly, they have the powers to do that. They can amend the constitution to say INA must seek clearance from national assembly or from the president to conduct elections or from whoever. But as it stands as of today, INA is independent. INEC should and must conduct elections without interference from anybody, from any institution. The question is clear. So I don't know the clarification I'm talking about, please. Let me come to Mr. Koye. Uh, Mr. Koye, uh, you and I have had this conversation before, and you have pointed to me the different states that you have had this um, e elections where you could actually transmit the results electronically. And... and when the National Assembly came up with this issue at first, you had, uh, as INEC said, well, we can do it. We don't really necessarily need NCC. But according to the National Assembly, they want you to go through the NCC. What exactly are you to do uh, through the NCC that enables you to run this election from the National Assembly's perspective? I think that uh, we should put the issue in very good perspective and in its proper context. Now, the Independent National Electoral Commission is not in competition with the National Assembly. Uh, the Independent National Electoral Commission is also not in confrontation with the National Assembly. Now, I, I think that there's some level of misunderstanding and misstatement relating uh, to what is going on. Um, I, I read the statement uh, from the National Assembly by the spokesperson of the, of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, there is nobody is arguing relating to the powers of the National Assembly to make laws for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In fact, Section 4, Subsection 1 of the Constitution and, subsection, uh, and Section 4, Subsection 2 of the Constitution gives the National Assembly the power to make laws for the peace, order, and good governance of the Federal Republic of Nigeria or any part, uh, any part thereof. And these powers are also uh, found in the, in, the, in the exclusive legislative list. In fact, he cited item 22 uh, of the exclusive legislative list. Nobody is arguing in relation to uh, the powers of the National Assembly. But one thing we must understand 
is that the powers that the National Assembly exercises, the powers that the judiciary exercises, and the powers that the executive is exercising are the powers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. All these powers are derivable and derived from the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. If you look at section one, subsection one of the constitution, he says that the constitution is supreme. So the constitution guarantees its own supremacy and says that its provisions shall have binding force on all individuals and all authorities throughout the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Section one, subsection two goes further to say that if any institution within the context of the constitution itself makes any law that is inconsistent with any of the provisions of the constitution, that that particular law made by such an institution shall be null and void to the extent of its inconsistency. So the implication is that both the National Assembly, the Independent National Electoral Commission, the judiciary, and all other organs created by the constitution derive their powers, authority, and efficacy from the constitution. So what the uh, uh, Independent National Electoral Commission is saying is that if you look at section 78 of the constitution, if you look at section 118 of the constitution, it makes it very clear that one, that the registration of voters and the conduct of elections shall be subject to the direction and supervision of the Independent National Electoral Commission and no other body. So what is before the National Assembly as of today is a bill that they have not amended the law. So all Nigerians, including the Independent National Electoral Commission, have joined the conversation relating to what the National Assembly wants to do or what it is doing. So asking us to keep quiet is akin to denying us of our fundamental right to contribute to a debate. When what they're doing becomes law, then it takes a different trajectory. And then we will now ask the question whether the Constitution has covered the field in relation to the powers of the Independent National Electoral Commission to organize, undertake, and supervise elections, and whether a subsidiary legislation uh, can override the clear and unambiguous provisions of the Constitution. So I think that the issues are very, very clear, and I needed to put it in uh, within its proper perspective and context. So, Babaisa, I was going to ask you the question. Why do you think it seems like the National Assembly is um, delaying or unable to, you know, say that they want electronical, electronic transmission of results outrightly instead of the buts and the ifs that we're seeing, um, you know, them making in the bill? What is the challenge that you think is causing the, you know, the fit, foot dragging as to, it, you know, the transmission for, uh, of electronically transmitted results come 2023? Well, uh, there I, are the critical issues I involved. I'm, so, in I'm, issue I'm, I'm so sorry, but Mr. Koye, I'm going to come back to you, but this is for Babaisa. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's, uh, it is basically how uh, our politicians treat governance. It, it's politics. How we try to play politics with governance, we play politics with issues of development, politics with issues of advancement, politics with issues of technology. You know, this is the 21st century. Everything is online. Everything is now electronically transmitted. Come on, I'm joining this interview through Zoom. So I don't know why it's such a big deal that uh, INEC is against transmission of results electronically. And INEC have said that they have the capability to do that. INEC have said that we haven't done that before. So I don't think that should be a problem. Uh, it's just that maybe um, some persons don't want it to be, and that is why they are dragging and trying to put pockets of resistance. But these, but these yeah. men yeah. and these women are, are representatives. They already obviously have felt the pulse of Nigerians. Nigerians are asking. In fact, we've been pivoting towards this. We've been angling for at least something to be done electronically. And now INEC has done it. There's been several litmus tests and they think that it's been su successful enough for them to continue. So if this is what Nigerians want, why is politics at play here? They, they don't listen to Nigerians. Uh, they don't listen to Nigerians. I, 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 we, certainly we have representatives. They don't listen to us. As you rightly say, <laughs> the, everybody out there, everybody out here, you felt the pulse of the country. Everybody wants something electronically. 
Somebody, some, I mean, we want, we buy electronically now, we, 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 we pay electronically, we, we, everything is like, even our uh, international passport, our national ID cards, our banking operations, everything. So why is it that we cannot vote electronically or at least transmit results electronically? I, I was expecting this complaint to come from INEC to say, oh, we cannot do this. We don't have the capabilities. But that is Barista Okoye there. I think I've been saying constantly that we can do this. We have the capabilities. We have the capacity. We can do this. So why not the Allah I do it? And let me say this very quickly. I need to have to, you know, uh, do a lot to win the trust of Nigerians. You know, in the 2019 general elections, I need to say they have a server. Later on, they said they don't have a server. So we don't even understand what is happening. I need now is saying they have the capabilities. Do they really have the capabilities? They have been coming out to say they do. If they really do, then it is time to demonstrate that. I mean, we'll have the next election coming up in November. And number of they demonstrate that they have these capabilities so that we can trust them, so that we can keep asking our representative of the National Assembly that I make have demonstrated sincerely their capacity and capabilities to conduct or at least transmit election results electronically. Okay. But if INEC wake up to that and say we have the capabilities, and when push come to shove, INEC would deny and say, we never say we had a server, we never say we could do this. Then it is about trust. We don't trust our institutions. And our institutions keep playing politics with the sensibilities and the lives of Nigeria. It is very unfair. Mr. Okoye, would you like to respond? Because this is obviously um, talking about INEC. Um, not necessarily in a great light. He's saying that Nigerians are unable to trust what INEC says now until INEC can actually demonstrate that this process, uh, you're capable of it, and then we can trust it also. Uh, but you have, you have displayed this in other elections before now. Um, but I'm going to let you speak because I don't want to be putting words in your mouth. Uh, you know, um, our commitment to the Nigerian people is that this particular commission we continue to deepen democracy in Nigeria uh, through the use of technology. And that's exactly what we have demonstrated. Uh, before this period, uh, political parties used to file the list and personal particulars of their nominated candidates um, uh, physically. They, in, in other words, when they finish, they carry everything and bring to the commission. Now they don't no longer do that. So what we do is that the moment they are done with their party primaries, we just give an access code to the national chairman of the political party, and they simply upload the list and personal particulars of their nominated candidates uh, to our dedicated um, INEC nomination portal. Civil society groups and organizations interested in observing elections do the same thing. The media also do the, also do the same thing. And we have also demonstrated that since we conducted the Edo and Ondo governorship elections and 26 additional by-elections, that we have consistently uploaded from EC8A into our INEC Resolve Viewing Portal for Nigerians to see what goes on at the level of um, at the polling units. And now, even for the issue of voters' registration, the continuous voters' registration, we've created a portal, and you can see young Nigerians rushing to our portal to go and do their pre-registration. And just um, uh, within the week, we have also demonstrated that very soon we are going to retire the smart card reader, uh, because we are going to deploy a bimodal a voter accreditation system uh, for the purposes of the Isoko South 1 state constituency election and the Anambra governorship election. And in this bimodal voter accreditation system, if the system is unable to read your fingerprints, it will read your facials. So unless you leave your face at home, if it doesn't read your fingerprints, it will read your face. And if it cannot read both of them, the implication is that you are not the person you claim to be, and you cannot vote. So I think that we have shown sufficient good faith. We have demonstrated the fact that we have the capacity. And we are also talking about the National Assembly. Nobody has invited the commission to come and demonstrate whether it has the capacity, whether it has the ability uh, to transmit election results ele electronically. So all these other things are at the level of uh, speculation. But we have assured Nigerians that this commission is a responsible commission. We will continue to deploy technology in the electoral process. The moment we test a particular electronic solution and we feel that it is robust enough, it's rugged enough, and it is also good for the Nigerian people, 
we will, de we will deploy it. And that's our commitment to the Nigerian people. Baba Isa is a legal practitioner. First of all, is of INEC. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Time is not our friend. We have to go now. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you all for staying with us. We'll quickly take a short break to see what Nigerians have to say about the um, electronic transmission of results and, of course, the skepticism of the National Assembly to it. And when we return, I'll be saying my goodbyes. This current... National Assembly are disconnected totally from their constituencies, from their people. They are disconnected from the people. Because if not, everything is electronic in Nigeria now as we speak. The one that affects our life most is getting people who are to decide on our future, which is election. And if we cannot do it electronically, I wonder what they are doing there. Um, they have ulterior motive then. Because uh, probably uh, because of this magomago they used to do. I'm sorry to say this thing. I know it's a, because why, why are they why are they that in the first instance? It, I didn't mean they fix infrastructures, especially power, uh, all this thing, and they make sure people are illiterate, were illiterate. The, the education they did. Well, I think uh, essentially that will put the voting process in the hands of Nigerians and, and uh, it will lead, uh, it will give credence, credibility to the voting process. Uh, it will essentially eliminate uh, rigging and all sorts of um, electoral malpractices from the voting center to the coalition and um, to where uh, INEC will announce the result. Everybody knows the outcome from the beginning. So. I think uh, that's just the fear. You know, everything is a process in Nigeria. All this uh, election and whatsoever is a process. Is Nigeria matured to for that process? So that is why doubt will come. Not even the national, even the the populace, Nigerian populace. Everybody is doubting uh, the, 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 the the this thing. But as I tell you, that it's a process. If Nigeria is matured up to that process, then they should go for it. If they are not matured, they should. We should continue with our system until when we are matured for the electronic voting system. Well, what happens in 2023 remains to be seen. I am Mary Anna Kona. I will see you tomorrow on Plus Politics. Do have a great evening.